Hello everyone, my name is Visual Pine, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Now, oops, I just got a strange shot. Now when I left us off the last time, well, I had bit, bit, built these solar panels. And they, to get us started in creating grid power so we could power this resonator and get all that stuff done. Now there's only one problem, and that is that at night time, the solar panels become useless. So today's goal is to stabilize uh, our solar panels, or stabilize our grid power. To do that, we're going to be... Hey? Eh? Do, do I need to do that? Would that make you happy? Can I do it that way? Good. Just not three. And we're going to do that by making water mills. Uh, which are right here, and to do that I need redstone gears, resonating redstone crystals, and the stone burst, which I am in the process of cooking up now. So while that's cooking, let's go over some of the stuff that I have built in between episodes. Um, and we'll start with this thing here. And to do this, for an example, let's, let's make lapis. Let's take a lapis block. Let's get cyan uh, dye. Then need prismarine. One, two, three. Now, what this thing is, it's from actually additions, and it actually has power conduits underneath it that this lava two generator is is working on, and it's infinite lava because, of course, this. Tier 5 cobblestone gen goes into these three crucibles, which goes into the Lava Mark II and funnels the power here. Of course, you can look at all these display stands and see they are full of power. Now, what we're going to do... Boop, boop, boop. Take the cyan and put it here. And then we take this lapis block and put it there because I don't need lapis. Ha 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 ha. Try this first. I need palace crystal. Not lapis. There we go. Now you see those four beams of light? They're taking these four items and they are powering this palace crystal block. And here in a minute they will have empowered it. Now why do I need the empower? Empower gets us deeper into actually additions. Um, and lets us make things like these greenhouse glass uh, blocks that I have been using to speed up our Inferium production. Whoop. Do that. And let's throw the palace crystal in there. What I need is greenhouse glass. You see I've made some of it there, but let's, let's look at it over here real quick. Greenhouse glass, I need... Uh, four pieces of glass, four saplings, an empowered crystal block, palace crystal block. Just like that. And why that greenhouse glass is sitting in there, I don't know. So we'll clear that. Now this means I might need some saplings in the future. Or I just need to make some nature seeds. One of the two. But until that time, I'm just gonna... Three, four, and five. Another row done. Uh, let's see how we doing in here. I'm doing all right there. Now I did get some feedback from the last uh, episode, and one of the concerns someone had was that uh, they wanted to know where we were going with the series, what I was planning to do, what my my uh, end goal was. My end goal is to complete all the achievements in this book. Uh, I don't know if beyond that I'm going to be building any uh, housing structures or anything like that on the platforms, but I will uh, be producing and building as many materials as I need. So I might get around to building a cool house or something with extra materials, but I haven't really decided on that yet. Right now I'm just focused on... Uh, getting these achievements done. Or at the very end, I might build a, a grand finale house. I don't know yet. 
If you have an idea of something you'd like to see, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Let's see, what else did I need? Oh yes, we're making the water mill. Let's see here, water mill. Boom. Now make the water mill, I need two redstone gears, and I forgot planks. Also, the reason I'm trying to stabilize this grid power is so I can get uh, the angel ring and have it, because uh, the angel ring really is the most uh, efficient way to fly in this mod pack. And what was I looking for in this? I was looking for planks, but I'll just take you, Mr. Oakwood. That way I can fly without having to, to hit the space bar over and over and over again. All right, so water mill, redstone gear, boom. Need two of those. Now I need eight. Let's do it this way. Get that nesting pen out of there. I need six more of these, I think. I need eight water mills. I need two redstone gears, pure. So I need all of them. Cool. And so let's do that. And I can only make six. What's running out? Stone burn? Hmm. I need two more. So let's get some brick. You will work. You will work. I think. You will work. Awesome. Some of this. And we'll put the rest in here. While I get this set up, or start to get set up, you're going to grumble at me, aren't you? You are. Okay. Just so we're clear. Alright. Get that stone burnt working. And how are we going to build this? Let's build it like so. Oh, I kind of need water for this, don't I? You know what? Instead of using buckets, we're going to use two water eggs. Now to build this structure, say I'm building a structure, not really even building a structure. It's, um, let's see here. Let's do it like so. Um, two, three, two, three, four, and five. That. Because I need the middle to be five by five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and five. Yep. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, the design I'm building here, uh, I did look it up. Um, boop. Oh, let's try it like this. And if you know a better way to produce, eh? Why is it doing that now? If I do it like, eh, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Let's try this. One, two, one, two. And so, that's what I thought I was going to do. This, this, this. And let's
All right, that's generating 10, 10, 10, and 10. So there's 40 power. Now, as the sun goes down, and these stop generating, or those stop generating, this should still generate. So what I'm going to do is sleep real quick. All right. Then I've got to build this platform out a little bit. Just a little bit longer. Not much. So let's, oh, no, I did this. One more off-camera thing I did today, before today, I uh, moved the furnaces and I brought them up to intermedium since that is the material that I am up to comfortably. Now, what does intermedium furnaces do? Intermedium furnaces, um, Let's just show you. They greatly speed up the time in which it takes to cook something, while also reducing what you need to cook it. So instead of uh, eight coal needed, I think it just takes four for a stack, on top of doing it a lot faster. So, that's awesome, in my book anyway. <laughs> Alright, get this going. Uh, this one. And this one. Alright, and with everything else. Boop, boop. Didn't quite need all that. And this should actually be able to take that last speed upgrade now. But let's make the... Last two water mills that I'm going to need. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I need to extend this platform just a little bit. My only concern is making sure I don't cover up my spawner down there. Or my farm down there. And we're going to do this one more time. Boop. That acts as that, so I need five in the middle. One, two, three, four. Yep. Boop. And we're going to go ahead and make this structure again. Oh, I can't wait to make an angel ring. And I think, I think I'll be able to do it this episode. Boop. 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 There's our water mills. So I need this structure again, which is one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to build. Stop. Three. Three. Boom. Means I put the water egg there. And we are generating 14, 14, 10, 10, and 14, 10. Meanwhile, these are all producing a different amount. Huh. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Those two should generate 14 now. These should generate 10. And during the daytime, we have 132 grid power. Awesome. That means I have plenty to get an angel ring made. Now, I'm going to get that all together, and I will be right back. Alright, folks, I'm back. And kind of embarrassing. I need levels. And I thought... Uh, Diamond Spikes would uh, drop experience, but I don't think that it does. Or if it does, I'm not seeing any down there. And if that's the case, then I'm going to have to rethink how I'm doing this setup. 
because I need some experience because to make an angel ring I need to use this here golden lasso and actually what I can do because I know I've got a couple in here is yep give me that give me that bat and you're going in the lasso come here all right mr. bat mr. bat I just want to put you in the come here just want to put you in the lasso duders he knows I hate that I want Really bad at this, and ah, uh, come on, get in the lasso, you little jerk! Uh. All right, fine. Here's we're gonna try this again, and hopefully with different results. Spawn that. Gotta do it quick. He, yeah. No! No, Mr. Bat. I'd screwed it up again. No! Come here. Come here, come here, come here. See if I can get the right angle. Mm. I'm just gonna have bats flying around my belfry, aren't I? Uh, real quick. We're going to do this, folks, today. All right, so, so spawn bat and grab it. Get, get. Why aren't you getting in the lasso? What am I missing with this lasso? This time with feeling visual pie. There he is. Got him. So, that's one part of the angel ring. Actually, I'll look up the recipe with you sitting here with me. Angel ring. To do the angel ring, I need a golden lasso and a cursed lasso. Now, a cursed lasso, I need to make another golden lasso, drop of evil. And then I need to capture a ghast into it. And when I capture a guest into it, the guest needs to be at, like, two health. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Wait. I think there's a way I can do it with witch water. I think that there is. Let me go down here and see if this experience obelisk is picking anything up. Hmm. I think. Hmm. I'll figure that out off camera and I will explain. When I do figure it out, I will explain it to you so that you can make it in your own world. And with that, I think that's everything I'm going to be able to get done today. So I've got the stable grid power. So the goal for next episode is to get. Um, get an angel ring and get it functioning uh, so that we can fly without having any any of this hovering mess going on. I can just tap space and I'm just flying. So That'll be the goal for next episode. And until then I'm going to put my golden lasso with the bat in there. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to stick around and see what else we've got going on, this is going to be an interesting week. I've got some things planned, um, so stay tuned this week because things are going to come around the channel, and I think you might be surprised what they are. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, just to see what I'm coming out with. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, well, I'll see you in the next one.